What's up you guys? Welcome to this video. I was going to film like a Q&A type of video for today's video for you guys and overlay some workout footage, but to be completely honest, I started getting sick. I think about Tuesday I started feeling some soreness in my throat, a little bit of fatigue. Um, yesterday it got worse and then today I'm just not feeling good. So. I was just going to film this little bit and I'm going to overlay some workout footage for you guys. Um, it's going to be a bit more of a simple video. I still wanted to get something out to you guys. I'm, I'm just not feeling up for a bunch of editing right now. Um, and I think why I'm sick is because we actually have, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, but Hurricane or Tropical Storm Harvey is coming up from the coast and it's supposed to hit, I think, I think it's supposed to start raining really hard tomorrow and it's supposed to continue all through the weekend and we're supposed to get hit by the bulk of it like on Sunday as far as I know. Of course that can change. But I think with all of that changing, um, some wind blew in, some allergens, I don't know exactly what it is but I, I think that's what's causing a lot of it. Although I did take an allergy pill and it didn't get rid of all of my symptoms so I don't know if I'm exactly sick or not. So I'm just taking a rest day today. I'm going to see how tomorrow goes. And to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my workouts in this weekend because if it rains too much here, we only have one road leading out of our neighborhood. That road floods so easily um, and so we might not be able to get to the gym. Uh, I might not be able to get my workouts in this weekend so I'm going to just see how it goes and talk with my coach. If I do miss my workouts, I'll let her know. Um, and pretty much tonight, I think Matt and I are going to be getting a bunch of water. We're going to make sure everything with the RV is good, um, just to make sure things don't leak, don't blow away. So, yeah, but as far as prep goes this week, aside from not feeling my best today, it's been going really well. I'm seeing more progress every week, which is so cool and encouraging and exciting. And we're right about 10 weeks out now, so I'm thinking that we're going to have to make some changes in the next week or two to kind of speed the process up a bit. Because although 10 weeks is a good amount of time, whenever you're having to get to a sub 10% body fat, it takes a lot of extra effort. And I'm used to this amount of volume of working out and tracking my food. I'm used to this. But we're going to have to take it up a bit more decrease the calories a bit, maybe increase the cardio a bit. It just kind of depends on my coach's feedback, which I'm waiting for right now. Um, so, I mean, I'm feeling good, again, aside from this. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated, super excited. People have started to kind of notice in the gym that I'm working a bit harder, that I'm starting to get a little bit leaner, so people are starting to ask what's going on. And I even had a thought. There's So the show that I'm doing is on November 4th in Bastrop and it's a uh, drug tested show, it's a natural show, and there's also one by the same organization on October 14th, I believe. Um, and so I texted my coach uh, asking if I might be able to do both, because if I'm going to take this much effort to lean down and put in this much time in the gym, um, I might as well try and get as many shows as I can in, but that's only if I'm going to be ready for that October 14th show. So. That was just a thought that I kind of threw out there. I don't know if it's going to happen. We will see. But I'll keep you guys updated on that, of course. As far as my strength goes, I'm still increasing in weights in the gym. So my strength has not suffered yet, um, which tends to happen whenever you're in a deficit. A lot of the time you do, you do notice lowered energy, lowered strength. Um, but I haven't experienced any of that yet. So overall, this process, I think this is the fifth week of prep. This process has been really solid and really enjoyable. I know it's going to get a bit harder as we get closer and closer to the show. I'm going to have to grind out a little bit more, but you know, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get there. But I haven't had any like mental breakdowns. My anxiety has been fine. My last prep, my anxiety got really bad for a little while and I, I cried a lot. Uh, so far so good. Mentally, I feel stable, <laughs> which is always good for somebody on a bodybuilding prep to be able to say because it does mess with your head a lot as far as body image and relationship with food and your relationships outside of the gym. And I feel like I've been able to find the perfect balance of it so far, so I'm focused on keeping that. 
Now as far as these prep updates go, I want to know what you guys want to see um, in the next prep update video, so next Friday. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are interested in seeing as far as the bodybuilding aspect of things go. If you're not interested in the bodybuilding videos, if you're only interested in the RV stuff, I understand every Friday is going to be the prep update so you can know that you don't have to watch the Friday video and then Monday and Wednesday will be more RV family lifestyle type of stuff. So, But we're still doing the bodybuilding prep updates every Friday as long as you guys are enjoying them. And I think that's going to be it. My, my voice, my throat's getting a little tired, so I'm going to, I've just been resting all day, that's why I've folded out our little couch into a bed here, and I'm just on YouTube and checking emails and stuff. It's a pro and a con at the same time, but um, to working for yourself, I don't have to take sick days because I can work from anywhere, so if I am sick, I can work from home, but at the same time, if I am sick, a lot of the time it's a bit harder to put as much effort into work as I want to, but I'm already here, so it's, it's hard to shut off that working mentality um, and actually take some rest, which I've been trying to do today. I'm not checking my emails as much as I normally do during the day, so I'm going to focus on getting better, staying hydrated, drinking a lot of tea, taking echinacea, taking my vitamins, making sure I get a lot of micronutrients in my diet, so as far as um, sickness goes, this is the first time that I've felt sick probably in a year and a half, so I definitely don't get sick near as often as I used to. Um, I don't know if that's diet related since we went to a plant-based vegan diet, but I think there's a lot to be said about that because of the, the amount of micronutrients that I eat now. It's got to be good for your body, right? Before I end up coughing up a storm... <coughs> Sorry guys, I keep coughing, my throat gets real dry. With that, I'm going to sign out. Like I said, I'm going to get better and hopefully we don't get washed away in this uh, storm. I'll try and get a video up on Monday, but it just depends on um, everything that happens. You know, I'll, I'll film the weekend and, and how bad the storm hits and, you know, everything that's going on. But if we lose power and if we lose Wi-Fi, can't upload a video. So um, I will, we will see you guys very soon. Thank you again for tuning in. That's going to be it for now. I'm just going to, I'm going to go take a nap. All right. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.